Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week I posted that Microsoft had released security update KB5012170, uh, which was this update, to fix a major secure boot DBX flaw. And that was over and, ab over and above releasing their normal patch Tuesday monthly updates for the month of August. And they did roll out this um, update as a separate security um, uh, update to address a security bypass vulnerability uh, in Secure Boot, where an attacker could successfully exploit the vulnerability and bypass Secure Boot and load untrusted software. And uh, this security update, 5012170, addressed the vulnerability by adding the signatures of the known uh, vulnerable UFI modules to the DBX. And that's quite a mouthful, but I will leave a link to that previous video in the description. Now, unfortunately, once again, um, we have an update issue, and it's these, this update, 5012170, now that might be failing to uh, install uh, for some users who are also, also getting an error code. And um, Microsoft does mention, though, uh, in their known issues post that it's worth noting that the problem is only affecting this security update for the Secure Boot DBX and the other updates like your cumulative security updates and monthly roll-ups that did roll out for this month august like 5016629 on windows 11 as an example and released on the 9th of august last week and those updates at this stage have no issues and problems it's only affecting 5012170 so if we just head to the known issues um on microsoft docs update might fail to install and you might receive a error which is zero x800 f0922 and this was updated on the 12th of august so that's about three days or so ago in my region and um but basically they say um if you are getting this issue where the security update is failing to install you can try updating your bios your ufi bios to the latest version bf before attempting to reinstall 5012170 and they also say they are presently investigating and will, will provide an update in an upcoming release so we hope they do that sooner than later and also the affected platforms are um, all supported versions of uh, windows from version 8.1 through to uh, windows 11 and that includes both client and server versions of those supported versions of the windows operating system and if microsoft uh, do roll out a fix or any other information does come to light regarding this issue i will let you know and post accordingly so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one